today's episode of Would You Rather, we are arguing which holiday would you rather enthusiastically celebrate every day? New Year's Eve, which is Tifano's position, or the 4th of July, which is Yon's position. Tifan will start us off. I'd rather relive New Year's Eve over and over again every day, enthusiastically celebrating it, because... Guess what? You're partying every night. You know what? That's what a lot of people do. Paris Hilton made a career out of it. I can be just having a great time, party every night. I also get to use fireworks. I can blow up stuff all the time if I want to. You know, I'm always reliving New Year's Eve. And the social repercussions of celebrating New Year's Eve all the time... It's a lot less than 4th of July because you're outside and on your front lawn, drunk, lighting off fireworks. People are going to call the cops on you. They're probably going to have you arrested. With New Year's Eve, I'm only doing this late at night, so people don't really know what's going on. I would rather celebrate the 4th of July every day because... But the 4th of July is, the beauty of it is, it's basically a barbecue, but it's so much more than a barbecue. You're celebrating the birth of the greatest nation known to the face of this earth, USA, all the way. You get to hang out with your friends, you have an excuse to start drinking at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and play with small explosives. I mean... T-Fan brought up the point that my neighbors are, you know, going to call the cops because I'm drunk and lighting off fireworks. Guess what? They're drunk too. We're probably shooting Roman candles at each other. When else can you do that? Plus, New Year's Eve, I don't know how it is, wherever it is you're watching it, but here, it's cold. It's always cold. And there's always a foot of snow on the ground. So, I'd much rather do stuff in middle of the summer, you know, where it might be hot during the day. But at night, it's fine, you know, 75-ish. Then do something in the middle of a very cold winter night. You're always going to have that one neighbor who's kind of a prude that will call the cops on you. You may have a couple of cool neighbors that you can shoot Roman candles at. But there's going to be that one neighbor down the road that just sits out the window and waits for something to happen so that they can call the cops. You're going to run into that neighbor every single night. They will become friends with the cops and say, oh, doot, doot, doot. yes, uh, Yom over here is lighting off fireworks again, running around with his pants off. And also, you mentioned that it's going to be cold outside. Guess what? You don't spend most of your New Year's Eve outside. You wait till midnight, get your kiss, run outside, light off some fireworks, run back inside. You're out there for a matter of a few minutes. You get a lot of entertainment out in that few minutes, light off some fireworks, and then you're back inside to the party. I think I I would much rather do that than be sweating, because it's not going to be 75 degrees in the evening until late, late evening. I have to deal with that dick buzzkill of a neighbor because I'm running around without pants on and a Burger King crown and a Roman candle shooting it off screaming, America! Then guess what you're going to have to deal with? When you've got like 37 cars parked on your front lawn and probably somebody puking in that neighbor's yard because they've been drinking all night and or day. Same dick neighbor. Alright? If I gotta deal with it, you gotta deal with it. And really, hopefully the dick neighbor's gonna realize that I'm not the only one, so she's gonna have to call in the SWAT team or the cops just aren't really gonna care because the whole neighborhood is drinking and shooting fireworks at each other. Odds are, it's probably you and maybe another house in the neighborhood that are like the big, you know, New Year's Eve party central houses. So, you're probably going to have to deal with that prick a lot more than I will. Plus, USA, thank you. Final argument. With celebrating New Year's Eve every day, it's like a party every day. With the fireworks, you're always going to have neighbors coming after you. And neighbors wouldn't necessarily come after me because the party's contained inside. Right. Final argument. USA! 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 USA!